North Korea has that. 32 out of 33 modern industrialized countries have that. How are you going to pay for it? We're going to be like North Korea. We'll have to borrow the money from China. Where are you going to find the money? And we know that this burden falls particularly in an unequal way on black folks and other people of color. And we just got to go ahead and put that in the testimony as well. Like if you, yes, and especially black women, and if you are poor or among the working poor or the barely middle class in these United States of America, and you do what you were asked to do, what you were told to do, the thing, the very thing that you were told that was gonna lift you up, and you do that thing, and then you find yourselves walking across a stage with a backpack full of debt in, on your back, and debt in your hands and a degree, and it is immoral to do so, and we calling it out. You know what I'm saying? When I say hands up, I need you to say fight back. You ready? Hands up, fight back! 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 Hey, how's it going? I'm doing this mostly because of the fact that apparently my Zoom does not work right now with my, uh, with this thing working with it, uh, so I'm trying to do it this way. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm already starting doing that. Um, no, uh, I'm doing this so I can show people, I mean, I don't know how many people actually go on to the, um, uh, look up uh, the Fed daily statement, but it's interesting to uh, to look at um, because because uh, you know there's there are terms like debt, redemption, other things like that, and it's also marketable and unmarketable. Uh, marketable like uh, bonds who are uh, that are sold on the open market to anybody who wants to uh, uh, fork over. Uh, you know, between 100 to billions of dollars in uh, buying bills, notes, bonds, uh, federal finance, you know, stuff of that nature. Um, and it's non-marketable. Non-marketable means that only the United States savings, uh, or only the, excuse me, only the uh, the government can issue those and only the government can, uh, can, uh, can redeem them. <coughs> and so, now it's interesting because... Um, now, on the bottom of this page, I don't know if you can see it, but if you can't, that's fine. I'll let you guys know what it is. Um, uh, it says, change in public debt outstanding, meaning debt that is in like bonds and stuff of that nature. So, according to uh, the Fed, uh, debt, is both, um, debt is both a good thing and a bad thing. Debt is something you can cash in and, and uh, redeem, if you will. Or debt is what you have to pay back. In this case, redemption means you get to you get to sell the bonds and other things like that that are marketable and non-marketable and get cash back. 
In this case, uh, the government account series uh, to date, uh, fiscal year to date, has cashed out seventy trillion six hundred twenty-nine billion thirty-four million. I say that because uh, all these numbers are rounded in millions. So, um, and actually, one of the people that uh, that unknowingly helped me figure this out with Mike Norman because he does I keep saying he does do a bang up job on his show on uh, YouTube but uh, just look up uh, Mike Norman MMT um, and also same thing with real progressives real progressives talk about this kind of stuff all the time as well um, anyway so let's see so I looked up uh, what non-marketable is and according to uh, Merriam Webster, uh, it is, let me see if I can get this uh, definition for non marketable, capable of being cashed at, uh, cashed at or before maturity only by the registered holder or one authorized to act for him. Now, that would only mean the federal government, the Treasury Department, um, selling them and getting cash back for that. Um, now, if you're printing money or whatever the term is, uh, either way, they're given money in exchange for those treasuries. That's what that is as far as that part goes. So for those people who like to keep up with the talking points, like, um, I think Mitch McConnell a couple of days, no, yeah, a couple of days ago said that it'd be socialism to, uh, to, uh, forgive a student loan and, I replied, well, that's the kind of socialism I want to see because if you cancel student debt, that means more people would have money to be able to spend and more to, uh, more money that, more money that goes into the economy supports workers, supports unions, supports whatever the hell he's getting his money from, to those corporations. So, for him to want to bury the whole thought of canceling student debt, uh is obviously asinine and obviously he uh he's much more in the pockets of the of the uh of the uh money lenders than he is of the American people as far as that part goes. Oh well, his his constituents in uh in Kentucky. Um same thing with Manchin though. Uh, I mean Manchin gets I mean I think he's uh, uh I, I think he's both a CEO of a coal company now, and he's still, and obviously he is in Congress or Senate. Which means the two are the same for me. Um, so that only just tells me that voters are easily manipulated, and you know, fine. Okay, so you're so voters want these people in here for whatever reason. Um, Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say as far as that part goes. Uh, it's Friday, so I don't know if I'll actually have anything on my Substack. I'm just trying to do this uh, because the last few days we've been trying to do shows. Um, I realized later on, I realized that there was no audio to them. So I'm hoping there's audio to this, and I'm hoping that you understood and heard what I said. Uh, doesn't mean you had to see what I was talking about. So anyway, so let me kind of... Go back over here. Oops, didn't mean to that. There we go. There we go. Okay, so as I said before, if I go all the way back up here, now my number was talking about a TG. What was it? Um, blah, 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 blah. oh TGA, which I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, I doubt. Okay, Treasury General Account. Uh, year to date, they've cashed out. Sorry, opening balance was for like yesterday. Well, no, two days ago was nine hundred fifty-five billion two hundred sixty-two million. Uh, this month is um, nine two three two four two forty. Uh, year to date was two hundred fifteen one hundred sixty. And deposits were this month was four hundred forty-two billion five hundred twenty-three. Uh, fiscal year was fourteen trillion five hundred thousand uh, eight hundred and seventy-eight. So yeah. Um, also, Biden uh, was bragging about how he's bringing the deficit down. Politicians are not uh, put there to know economics. They are there to vote in the way that corporations want them to vote in. Um, unfortunately, that leaves us voters or non-voters in the lurk 
Because they're they're looking at their own self interest while we are trying to just live, um, and that means you know, people like Pelosi, Schumer, McConnell, obviously, even Sanders, Bernie Sanders has uh, taken money from, uh, from Pfizer and other and other people like that. I believe I saw I saw his name on there. It could be it could have been Amazon for all I know. Point being is those who throw rocks uh as sometimes uh, rocks are very small as far as a park goes um anyway uh kind of going kind of went on a tangent there my point being is the only the only way i can see anything happening that requires any kind of change is uh every city uh having to have more people protesting then there are cops, and then then, then there are military um, uh, faculty. Because unless there's actual change, and you can't do it at the ballot box, we have found this out multiple times. No matter what, the Dems don't care if they win or lose. Republicans don't care if they win or lose. Um, both support each other in regards to what they do or what they don't do. So the only thing I could say is. Got to have enough people to put their money together and do a mass uh, uh, hostile takeover of a, of a gas and oil company, so you could change the you could change the way they do business. Uh, therefore, I mean that's the only inside I can see happening in regards to that because that's at least uh, capitalism right there. Taking that I can see uh, that that be the way capitalism is taken down a notch. Uh, not through voting, you just have to either buy enough stock and companies and turn them around. You know, if you if you if you obtain enough power, uh, or just get on the streets and fucking do your thing as far as protesting and making sure that you're in the right as far as law goes and stuff in the nature. Anyway, I'm hoping this has, I'm hoping this has. Um, uh, volume to it, audio. Um, apparently, nobody gives a fuck to let me know if it does or not, uh, or if they do. YouTube didn't tell me that you have comments. Um, so anyway, I will look. I will load this up and see uh, if it does. Sweet. If not, I'll be using this thing right here to do it. Either way. Thanks for watching. Support me. Support this channel. Support Real Progressives. Support. Oh, and another thing. Tomorrow, I will be going to a uh, protest. Uh, the PSL are do is doing a, a protest. An anti-abortion protest, I believe. Or at least uh, protesting the, uh, the the Supreme Court's decision. Or pending decision. Uh, so, I'll be there. I'll be live streaming. If I do, uh, if, if I do it representing real progressives, that's up to them. I've, I have asked because I'm new to this, so I want to keep asking until I'm told no. Um, if they say I'm good with it, then I'll be doing it that way. If not, then I'll be doing it on my YouTube channel, live stream, uh, probably through either, probably through Streamyard. I'll probably do it that way. Um, but anyways, yeah, I look for that tomorrow. Uh, 2 p.m. is when. Uh, I suppose they think just started, so uh, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, whatever the heck you're doing as far as uh, uh, cons uh, consuming my content. Um, thank you, have a good weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out for now. Oh yes, and in case you ever, ever have a doubt as far as spending or taxing or whatever the, fuck the case may be always go to federal uh, uh fed statement fed daily statement on google bing whatever have you and it'll take you to the website you can download in uh whatever form you want uh and it'll say withdrawals deposits redeems and stuff of that nature that'll give you the actual number i'll let you know uh they can always redeem um they can always redeem bonds uh the fed is a net interest payer uh and given the fact that the u.s government uh holds the most in u.s treasuries that means that 
though that that interest rate that the Fed is paying on though on said um, on said bonds and treasuries are basically a uh, fiscal expansion. Meaning, and I have a kind of a working theory on this, um, the combination as far as the bump next year for Social Security recipients like myself would be a combination. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this is just a, this is a working theory um, combination of that and the inflation. If we get, uh, say, 8% eight, uh, 8 or eight, whatever the fuck it is, 8% uh, 8, 8 in a bump, that will tell me that my working theory was correct. Because as of right now, as far as I know about, inflation is only is only predicting about well, it. I mean, the bump is good either way, no matter what the what the size is really. But uh, but it's projected to be about four percent, give or take. And if there and if there's four percent of interest rate by the time the year ends, then I'm looking forward to see what happens in regards to the bump next year. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Support this channel, support uh, Real Progressives, support MMT, learn MMT, hashtag learn MMT, and learn how the economy works so, I can work, so you can learn how to make it work for you. Peace out for now. Oh, yes, and uh, visit uh, pitbulleconomics.com. Not my website, my, that's Mike Norman's website. Peace out for now. And we know that this burden falls particularly in an unequal way on black folks and other people of color. And we just got to go ahead and put that in the testimony as well. But if you, yes, and especially black women, and if you are poor or among the working poor or the barely middle class, in these United States of America, and you do what you were asked to do, what you were told to do, the thing, the very thing that you were told that was going to lift you up, and you do that thing, and then you find yourselves walking across a stage with a backpack full of debt in, on your back, and debt in your hands, and a degree, and it is immoral to do so, and we calling it out. You know what I'm saying? When I say hands up, I need you to say fight back. You ready? Hands up, fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Fight back. Fight back.